Podcast. This is my special guest, my co-host, right? See ya. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Barbie from Ob's World. I just want to introduce my special guest for today, which is Ink God. Very close friends, been friends for a while now, and this Gosh. is a interesting topic because we have two different opinions about life, but. His opinion is very open-minded, so I wanted to hear his words that he had to say on this topic. So everybody give him a round of applause and, you know, bring him in. Are you allowed to clap for yourself? That's like kind of... <laughs> Thank you. 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 You gotta have those that's likes. That's it. That's what we don't. As long as you like yourself, that's all that matters. That's a fact. All right. All right, cool. So let's get into this. I like this. I like this type of shit. All right. Wait, are we allowed? Are we allowed to curse? Or I should like, is this the PG thirteen version? No, you're allowed to cuss. We grown adults. We do grown shit. God damn. Okay. <laughs> all right, we in the spot. Let's turn it up. All right. So the topic for today is about relationships. And Mm -hmm. the point of relationships that I want to discuss is the support behind, like, this is, this is a very good topic because you've been throughout my relationships with me and you know, like how my relationships go. So with the whole modeling thing and trying to balance, you know, having that type of lifestyle and maintaining a relationship when a guy doesn't support what I do. So, I there we have a we have a lot going on there, and that one little question, but it's a lot going on. So let's first break it down for the guys. Like I gotta represent for the fellas a little bit. Um, we're taught that you know we like women should be a certain type of way, right? And this what's crazy is men do not want the woman that they're looking for. I know that sounds crazy, but just hear me out. Men are looking for dots. We want sluts. We want, you know what I'm saying? We want, we want a good time. We try to turn up. But that is not who we need. Like, who we want and who we need is not the same thing. So, I don't know about everybody else, but for me, if I'm in a spot, I'm looking for a dot. That's just, that's just my goal, my MO. But if... If Shorty present herself a little different, then you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna. It's going. That's gonna cause me to treat her differently. Mm-hmm. Now I say all that to say, the reason why a lot of men have insecurities about like they they girl doing modeling or whatever is because niggas know like we know the reality. The reality is behind that camera. It's probably like I ain't never seen too many girl photographers. You know what I'm saying. But behind that camera, it's, it's a dude that's probably either on some freaky weirdo shit, like where he's just taking pics of people, or, you know what I'm saying, there's somebody who's trying to see you naked. So that's kind of, that already off the jump is crazy. That shit right there is crazy. But we willing to look past that if our girl, if we trust our girl. The reason why a lot of people don't trust their girl is probably because they insecure with themselves. Right? Because they know what they would do in that situation. If it was a bad behind that photographer, and she, you know what I'm saying? And she was trying to, you know what I'm saying? It would be a different story. So a lot of people have insecurity there. 
And in addition to that, a lot of people don't trust their girl, especially around attractive people. Now, me personally, right, I got a relationship. I met one. I told my girl, like, you could cheat on me, but you got to do two things. Number one, like, the nigga got to look better than me and got more money than me, right, and be offering you something. That's, like, okay, because now you're upgrading. How can, I can't hate on an upgrade. Like, that's like if a nigga come to me, I'm fucking with an iPhone 10, the nigga trying to, you know what I'm saying, T-Mobile trying to get my shit to the 12. Like, I got to do that. I owe, it to the, I owe it to the community to do that. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's number one. And then, like, number two is, it's just, like, like, I don't mind if somebody cheats on me, because cheating is just physical, right? Sometimes it'd be emotional, too. But I told them, like, just don't lie to me. Because the number one shit to me that's most important is loyalty. Like, I feel like if somebody cheats on me but is honest about it, I could I could fuck with that. Because that's like, okay, you made the decision. Look with your decision, right? It was an action. You want the fuck. It is what it is. But if you lie to me, bitch, you a liar and a cheater. I can't do nothing with you. Like, like, like what can I do with that? And that's the same. I feel like it's got to be the same for women because, like, me, I'm polyamorous. So I have a very different mindset than people. I used to lie to people in the beginning. I used to be like, oh, yeah, I'm monogamous. I'm trying to make you my girl. Like, listen, I don't do that shit no more. I told my girl from day one, like, listen, I like, I, I love, I have love for multiple people. Like, nigga, it's no way, like, you can love multiple things in, in, a, like, in life. You can't tell me, oh, I love cheeseburgers, but I don't love pizza, but I don't love, like, fried chicken. Like, come on, bro. You, you got to, like, when we go to the grocery store, like, you looking for deals. You looking for everything. So, for me to not have that with people is, I think people's like expectations is unrealistic. So I may not be the right person for this interview, but I am gonna say it raw, and I am gonna, you know, I am gonna, I'm gonna put my little two cents in. That's that's why I, what I think is going on with that, like in terms of niggas not feeling comfortable, it, it deals from a lack of emotional maturity as well as their own insecurity or lack of trust. In their partner. So what if it's so what if it's a guy right who's in that situation and he says, "Well, I don't feel insecure. It's not about insecurity because I'm not insecure." So what's the excuse then? He's lying. Every nigga. Okay, look. You wanna know how every nigga is insecure? How? And this is this is this is fucked up. But every nigga is insecure. I'm gonna tell you why. In a way, right? Every nigga is insecure in a way. If you could tell a man he's the man, right, and build on his ego, that's going to make him feel better about himself, right or wrong, right? Right. Every man is willing to accept that. When you be like, oh, like, if a random guy, oh, yo, you got all the hoes, oh, yo, that cut is fire, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, yo, you the man, yo, you getting bread, he getting to the money, like, whatever, like, these things that pump up a male's ego, mm -hmm. right, they willing to accept that. That means that it's their their emotion is able to be touched. Mm -hmm. If someone will accept some shit like that, they don't have a choice. They can't turn it off of how to like not accept the hate or the negativity. So when a man says he's not insecure, that's like his way of probably saying like, okay, maybe I'm not jealous. Maybe the word is jealous, but insecure is like, we all have insecurities. To say we don't is a lie. Like, let's say, for instance, Jack, if you, if you fuck with somebody, right, and it's just human nature, if you fuck with somebody, and you know they like light-skinned, curly-haired women, mm -hmm. and a light-skinned, curly-haired ice spice walk at that motherfucker, right? Now, you know your man, and you trust your man, but... Is there, or can you say honestly to yourself without lying to yourself that there isn't just the slightest insecurity that he may be thinking about wanting more? You might have to compete with somebody like. I can on be honest, like, of course. That's every day. Of course. That's an everyday of thing. That's an everyday thing. So when people say, when men, women say, oh, I'm not competing with nobody. If I got to compete, you can have them. Bitch, you want to be competing with everybody for the rest of your life. I, I go to the I go to the grocery store. I get I go to the self checkout aisle with ten items or less, with eleven items, and it's a it's somebody in there that you know what I'm saying. They bagging groceries. I'm like, oh, up. Like you know what I'm saying. That 
Shorty got the wagon. It's so bad. I go to the supermarket. I be looking at people, moms. Like I'm different with it. You know what I'm saying? So everybody is is competing. Everybody's competing, whether they like it or not. It's just how do you how do you deal with that like type of that type of pressure? Do you deny it? Do you accept it? You know what I'm saying? Accepting your vulnerabilities is what makes you stronger. Because at least you're honest about them and you can address them. When you lying about some shit, you can't even realistically address it with yourself. So how is somebody else going to be supposed to be real with you? And I think in my relationship, that's been the number one thing that's kept us together. Because um, I'm not a perfect nigga. I, like, honestly, I send my girl, like, women, like, on the gram. I be like, yo, I'm, I would fuck her shit. <laughs> I be wilding. Like, I be wilding. But, like, I, and I know... Like, and I'll and I be telling my girl urges I be having, I'll be like, yo, the other night I had a dream I cheated on you. Like, why would a nigga, why would, why would anybody tell a girl that? Like, that's an argument waiting to happen. But, like, because I kept it honest, because I'm so whatever, like, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Now, for instance, here's one of my insecurities. My girl is tall, right? I'm 5'11", she's 5'10". She used to date in 6'4", basketball player meetings. Now, I got that thing, you know what I'm saying? But the height is still a thing. So, like, if she's around a tall nigga, a tall chocolate nigga, because she don't even like light skinned niggas. I don't even know how that keep it a buck with you. She don't even like light skinned niggas. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm like, me neither. You know what I'm saying? We got that in common. So, I told, like, I feel like there's always some type of, like, insecurity shit going on, but. You just gotta accept it, bro. And what and, and what they say would don't kill you, make you stronger. They meant that. Talk on your podcast, man. They 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 meant that. Would don't kill you, make you stronger for real. But all right. So my aspect on that is you can't ask for something and then when you get it, be mad that you got it. You feel me? Yeah. Like I. Hundred percent. I deal with guys who, you know, want a girl like me, you know, get with me and then be mad about what comes with me. Like, you're upset because of the simple fact that I'm secure with my body enough to show my body. Like, I understand the traditional women that, you know was taught to male and females when we were younger, you know, you're supposed to respect yourself. And just because of the simple fact that I show my body doesn't mean that I don't respect myself. Facts. Just because of the simple I fact. Think, Go ahead. I think we living in a different time, so, like, and just Very to kind different. of piggyback off that, like, okay, traditional times, women took care of the kids, made food, made sure shit was good. They were stay at home right? moms. Right. But they were stay-at-home moms. And niggas had arms during that time. You know what I'm saying? Like It's like mm-hmm. the men was the sole provider. So what would be crazy to me is how niggas expect women to be like the old days, but they not doing the shit the men used to do in the old days. You so it's like, it's like, it's like, bro, Clap him. you got to keep Clap it a man. Him. You got to keep it a man, bro. Clap you him. For her and all the kids and her and like you know what I'm saying you're not doing that you expect her to go get a job and all this shit too so like you know and that's how I, that's how I look at it like I don't even look at my girl as my girl I look at her as my partner nigga like like if if she gotta go and get a job and work right if I try to I cover what I can cover for her but like she the fact is she out here providing to the household too so we on an equal level in terms of like. The seniority. It's no seniority like, oh, I'm higher than you or whatever. Like, mm-hmm. we in different stages of our life, true. But if you're going to make your girl responsible for certain things, you got to keep it that way. And on, the, and on the other end of the spectrum, it ain't nothing wrong with having a sugar mama either. You know what I'm saying? If that's the type of lifestyle that you need, like, all I'm asking is when you get done, send them digits this way. Because we could we could do something with that. We could recycle that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I know a few people who could use a good sugar mama right now. Should I be a stay-at-home husband? I fucking clean all the dishes. I have her socks, panties folded in fucking squares by the time she get home. It's not a game. I'm so dead ass. That stay-at-home husband away. shit is real. real. You know what I'm saying? Is. It is, and this, and like you said, like times are changing. A lot of women are becoming a lot more independent. Like now, it's you got to come to the table more than what 
they used to look for. You know, before they looked for the men with the house and the car and the nice job so they didn't have to do nothing. Nowadays, women are so pressed on, I need to get out there and I need to make that money and I need to be independent and be able to do it on my own. But when it comes down to a man, like, okay, yeah, you got that, but what do you have that I can't do myself? Yo, I want to I wanna say something that's really going to hurt some people's feelings, but I don't really care because I speak based off the of statistics. I look at stats a lot. Mm -hmm. You know that the female women demographic is no longer the, is no longer a minority in terms of college, right? In terms of secondary, uh, post-secondary post education. Mm -hmm. Another, another statistical fact, this is not my opinion, this is a fact. Mm -hmm. On average, women make more money in 2022, 2021, and 2020 than the average men. Now, now granted, most CEOs are going to be predominantly male and all this other shit, but those are the exceptions, right? On average, women generate more money and are more educated, right, in terms of qualifications and certifications than average men. I believe that. that's a this is not this is not my like I'm a, I'm a guy so I wouldn't even this ain't don't benefit me but this is a fact this is statistics so women are now earning more than the male in the family right they and this is and this is kind of where the pro, a lot of the problem is because a lot of men with weak egos right I think we need to teach men how to how to like change their ego to not be so self conscious because mm -hmm. a lot of men with weak egos they they look at a woman's earning power or earning potential mm -hmm. and they're like, damn, well, now she the man of the house. No, bro. Like money does not make you the man of the household, right? The man or the woman of the household. Like, yeah, it, it contributes to a lot of your power and your say so and all of that when it comes down to like building a future. But I think that men today like are not really taught how to be men and how to stand on emotions. Like, I personally don't think that you could be a man without learning emotion. And a lot of men, like, and this come from a nigga, like, I don't, I don't, I can't remember the last time I cried ever because, like, crying to me, I, I don't care. I, I, it's not me looking at it as weak, but it's like, crying to me is like, it don't fix nothing. It don't solve nothing. So I don't cry because it don't, like, I still have the problem after. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of men are in a society where, they have no outlet to go to. You can't go to your, your homeboys on some soft shit. That's not going to work. You can't go to your girl on some soft shit because then she's going to think you were one of her girlfriends. Like, and there's no channel for that. So men suppress that. And because they don't understand them or ever build on their emotional intelligence, right? They are not equipped for many of life situations that deal with emotion, such as how to deal with the fact that the average American household brings in around sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. That's with two working people, mm -hmm. right? The 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 primary provider after of of gross salary as well as your domestic your your net is also the female. So it's like you're not making as much. Like how are you? You know what I'm saying? That used to be one of the standards back in the days for mm -hmm. being the man of the household. It was being a provider, being a breadwinner. Mm -hmm. When you're not the breadwinner, how do you still stay in charge? How do you still assert mascul masculinity, like your, your masculine dominance, right? Because not regardless, like a household still needs that, whether it's the female or the male providing it. And a lot of men are in a situation or emotionally able to provide that. So women start, you know, developing the ideology like, oh, okay, well, I'm making the money. I'm doing this. I'm doing, nigga, I'm going to take charge too. You know what I'm saying? And that's why that's why I think a lot of our society is the way it is, but hopefully some of this podcast will change that. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping that this opens the eyes of both male and female perspective, you know, because there's some things that women don't know about men, you feel me? And I feel like mm -hmm. it's best to hear it with somebody who's very open and honest, who's very open and right. honest about every aspect of life and not just you know, one-sided on things. Like, oh, yeah, I understand yeah. both parties, so I can speak on my end, but also understand where you're coming from on your end, which is why I wanted you on this podcast. 
So that I don't was care something. about getting canceled. <laughs> I don't need this. Okay, so we gonna keep it real. <laughs> so I want to go back to something that you said earlier, right? You okay. said something about you're okay with your girl cheating as long as she doesn't lie to you and as long as it's somebody that's an upgrade from you, right? Yeah, hell yeah. How could I be mad? Now, How could I be mad at that? Now, you can't be mad at that, but give me an example on the reason why you say that. Because, you know, to everybody in our eyes, I would be mad if, if somebody cheated on me. Like, I know... Uh, of course. And then, that's human, but, like, that's not... The thing is, I'm realistic, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, the facts are, most marriages end in divorce. Infidelity is more prevalent than fidelity, right? You have people who claim that they're monogamous, but they they put in a, you know what I'm saying, they throw in their genitals and everything walking. So most of society is a, is a lie. Like it's, it's all fabricated, it's not true, it's not, it isn't, like it isn't real. So I can't lit, like I try to establish a different standard for my relationship. Now, what a lot of men don't understand is if you give your, your girl the freedom to do it, she's probably not even gonna wanna do it. And I'm not gonna say it's reverse psychology, but it's like, it's like, you know why cheating is so fire? Because you're not allowed to do it. You're not allowed to do it. That's why people do it. It's because like, you're not allowed to do it. 99% of the time when you hit, it don't even be better than what you got. It'd be like, damn, I really just wasted, uh, I really just risked it all. I, I just bust one for on his trash. Like I had to, yo, it, it's, it's a scam. I'm not gonna hold you. Cheating really be a scam. It's, Cause a scam. It, it's like, you gotta be mad work. Like it's, it's, it's just too much. It's too much. So too much lying, it don't too even much be worth speaking. it. Yeah, but we, but, but we men do it. And, and like we do it because of the curiosity and the thrill. It's really the rush that we get from it. It's the thrill, bro. Like I'm not gonna hold you. It don't even be cause I'm not gonna hold you. Porn up got me right every time. My right hand is 10 for 10. <laughs> 100% shooting at, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's different. But I could tell you some missions that I went on that really ain't, really wasn't busting like they were supposed to be busting. And that was my fault for that. But another thing that's crazy that a lot of men don't want to realize, like women is better, women are better than us at the games that we play. And then also women cheat more frequently. And this is something that a lot of men don't understand, right? But women actually cheat more frequently. And the worst part about it is, and I know this from talking to a lot of very faithful women who, women who are in relationships, women who trust me with a lot of information. I try to just collect the info and then just go off of the, off of the facts, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Women are better than men in cheating because women can cheat and niggas really, you're not gonna find out unless she wants you to find out, right? Like, it's a lot less for, it's a lot less for a woman to lose in a cheating situation than a man. See, a, a woman can cheat and a guy is gonna be okay with holding that down because he don't want the static of X, Y, and Z. Now, most men, in order to cheat, most of them, not everybody, some people keep it 100, right? Like me, I keep it all the way 100. Like, if I'm cheating on with somebody, they knew I had a girl, right? They knew it was up. And that's why when I've cheated, I've only cheated with people who had other people too. So they, I was cheating with cheaters. So we both had some shit to lose. I'm not, I'm not about to You're be not the only, only person here risking it all? Nah, 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 nah. See, that's where they get the game fucked up. Nigga, if you go, if, if, if I'm gonna lose it all, you gonna you lose it all too. We, hey, listen, we gonna both lose the house, nigga. We gonna both be outside looking stupid in our drawers. I'm with it. But, but we gonna have to do this shit together. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas be cheating on shit that they, they not, they not, that person not on your level yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just like, I don't know, I just feel like, it's a, it's a, it's a sticky situation. So, to make things clear, you gotta talk about these things. No relationship wants to deal with cheating. Guess what? Almost every relationship deals with cheating. So it's like, just because you don't want to talk about it and you want to avoid it doesn't mean that you're, it's going to protect you by avoiding it, mm -hmm. right? 
Like, you have to talk about these things. So, yeah. my girl know what my cheating policy is. She know what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know what it is for her. Like, and I kept it all the way 100. And because she knows that she's able to go mess with anybody she wants, as long as she keep it above. Mm -hmm. She don't even, like, she don't even want to do that. You know what I'm saying? And I be telling her all the time, I be like, are you sure? I be like, say, maybe you could get you a basketball nigga, some money, an NBA contract, a site. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get you something. But she don't even want that because... It's not, like, that's not even a, that's not a, a like, it's not a, a desire. It's not a thrill anymore, mm -hmm. right? When you take away the thrill and the excitement of something, people don't even want to do it. Mm -hmm. So that's how you address the cheating and all of that. You take, you make it not fun to do it no more. It's like, okay, bro, we didn't have a whole conversation about this. We didn't have a whole discussion about this. My nigga got a plan for this and a plan for that. Like, See? this, this shit not even fun. This shit. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna stay faithful. That's the that's the most exciting shit I can do. See, look, you you better than me. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't get with it. I can't. No. I hear you. Most people can't. Most people can't. And I and I respect it. I respect both sides. I'm just I say my side and I say what I see and that's it. But I, I believe. Because if I like, find I, out you cheating, I, listen. Y'all saw me on divorce court. <laughs> it was not a game. We saw you on the divorce court. That was crazy. <laughs> it was not a game. If I found out anything game. about anybody cheating, you listen, your dick was on fire. How did you go on divorce court? I wasn't even married. I'm so confused. Like <laughs> Okay, so they want us on there because of the stories. Like my stories was just that damn funny. Like, your stories was busting. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Like, they took like, out a oh, couple nah. of pieces. Like, they took out the pieces where I took all his designer shit and was handing it out to the homeless. They they took That's a lot crazy. of this shit out. They was just like, you know what? Like, they told me that I couldn't say that I set his clothes on fire because that was, like, admitting to arsony and stuff like that. So they Yeah, that's kind of crazy. So they was just like, nah, we got to take some parts out. So they took, like, half of that damn story out. But, bro, listen to me. When I tell you, like, I find out you cheating, it's on and popping. Like... I'm a Taurus for a reason, okay? You gonna get the bull, oh, you gonna get the horns, like for That's real. It. So, like, you know what though? I think that that needs to be said. Like, what is cheating? People don't define it in the beginning. Everything and is to me. Everything is cheating. I don't care. It's not a physical thing. And I noticed what you about to say. I no, hate no, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying, cheating is like, okay, look, cheating for me is not cheating for you. It's not cheating for him. So the thing is. Cheating to me is when you when two people have an agreed upon set of rules and one person breaks those rules. If we in a committed relationship, but from the beginning the rules were you can have extra marital, extra spousal shit once a month, right? If that was the rules from the beginning and you doing that, you're not cheating because that was the rules. You're not cheating the game. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like draw four. Like, I mean, I mean, Uno. When niggas be trying to put numbers and colors down, like putting a draw two on a draw four, like, what are you doing? Like, no, you got the game. You're cheating. Because the agreed upon rules that we all agreed upon is not, like, you're not following the rules. Now, so, that is where a lot of females go wrong. Because when they get into a relationship, they expect to know they expect a man to know exactly what they want in their relationship. Like, baby, I don't know what you want unless you tell me. So it's just like I'm gonna do what I normally do until you tell me that you don't want me to do it, and then I'm gonna go about it the way that you want to go about it. But I most do women agree. don't even know what they want in her in real life for real. Right? They don't know what they want. Like, how's a man supposed to know what a woman wants, bro? But like, men, we want three things, bro. We want no headaches. We want food. <laughs> and we want some... We probably want some cheeks, occasionally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not Everyone that. It's, it's not that. Out. Like, everything we do really be for that. Like, like niggas go buy Gucci belts, design bullshit. Like, like... I'm convinced niggas don't even like the shit they put on their body. They just like it because everybody else tell them that a Mary is fire. Like, bro, bro five years ago, niggas didn't know who Mike a Mary was. Niggas thought that was a, a, a church, like a, a nursery rhyme, bro. Mike a Mary. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hail Mary. Like, what was going on? And then 
society made it lit, like Dior and all this other shit. Niggas was not wearing big Dior, bro. Niggas, niggas was wearing. Pop Smoke made that a thing. He bro, definitely So now that it's just like, you wear that because women, well, not the women I go after, but women, is, a lot of people think that that's, that's lit. And, and if you lit, you get extra looks. If you get extra looks, that attention might get, you know what I'm saying? So men do everything for that. And I remember one of the most valuable things I ever heard came from 50 Cent. And like, I'm not one to give life lessons, but the nigga said some shit that was so profound. Nigga said, don't chase women, chase money, they come with it. When he said that, I was like, God damn, this thing is all fire. And he got, he got one today. He said, don't chase women, chase money. They come with this shit. I said, oh, this nigga's different. I went out, I went out to get rich or die trying to post that. That nigga said that. Hung that hoe up in the room and everything. I was sitting there with the, with the fitted hat on, with the G when it looking like, you know what I'm saying? I'm at this bitch, yeah, we in the spot. I'm following the guy. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. That's what it is. So, my very last question that I need your opinion on, right? This is a big thing, especially for like you being into, you know, music. And by the way, he does have music out. So y'all go check that out. Don't you still have a YouTube channel going on too? I definitely got a YouTube channel. I'm definitely working on a lot. I've been learning a lot of like, I've been spending all of my time on videography, cinematography, um, engineering i've been taking like a lot of classes on and getting certifications on how to be a top level mixing and mastering engineer um so pretty much audio science i've just been i've immersed myself in that for the last two years and that's why i've been like off the gram i've been off youtube it's just because it takes so much to really master the field um, but I'm finally getting to that to that point. So hopefully the content and everything will start matching up with the experience soon. So we gonna drop all of his information down in the description box so that way y'all can see and tune in with him. Like he does amazing work. He is a very open-minded and outspoken person. <laughs> Just know Definitely that. A little outspoken. <laughs> a very outspoken. Very. <laughs> so my very last question to you is as far as doing music and you know what comes with doing music and especially the way you look everybody knows you know all the you have like every most females requirements like all the tattoos being light skin the hair just the way you looked in general yeah but that shit that's all like that's all like surface value bullshit that shit is exactly that, but that's what nothing. a lot of females go for like you you know it and that's right. how of course you're able to sell anything that you have just the same way as with me like right. i know that guys like to see what i post and if right. that's what i know is gonna sell i'm gonna put it out there like it's it's just what it is i'm doing whatever is possible for me to make money so I'm not going to go outside of that. And you know that outside, like when it comes down to the looks, it's a personal, it's a looks thing. Like somebody sees it, they like it, they want to know what's going on with it. So they'll tune into everything else that you got going on just because of what they see about you so far that they like. So with that being said, and with the music and everything that you do behind it, would you be able to stay with someone who doesn't support what you do? Yes. You would? I, I, I don't think, and I may be, like I said, open-minded here, but how can somebody support me if they don't have the same dream I have? They don't have the same vision I have. They don't understand. Like, it's not my partner's job to understand or follow my dream they're not having the dream so how can i expect them to support me or whatever when it's like bro it's your dream support your shit you're the one who's going to benefit from that right so 
Uh, now, any good partner, you should want to help. Like my girl, right? She do, she's in psychology. So she's studying to get her PhD mm -hmm. for psychology. So she can open up her own practice and all that. But in the meantime, she also does modeling as well. She saw, so she does a lot of runways. She does a lot of uh, print and shoot and stuff. I've seen her stuff. So she's amazing. Right. So so it's okay. It's okay. Right. But at the end of the day, she's not signed. She's not none of that. Mm -hmm. So she's been in like a couple of like things. She's been in power. She's been in like a few cool things as like a, a independent. But so like I don't understand her vision because it's not my. Like, that's not my vision. I, I'm not a model. I don't fuck about modeling. I don't, I don't even, to be honest, I, like, I don't. And the podcast and music and YouTube and, bro, let me tell you something. That's about the scariest thing that I've ever put myself through and taking care of, like, four different businesses. About the scariest thing I've ever had to do in my life one thing about me is that i plan everything out like don't matter if we going on a day trip to new york i plan everything out every second and i feel as though that a lot of people fall through with a lot of stuff that they want to do in life because they don't plan it out even though it may not go the way you wanted to at least you had a plan and you could say at least i did this in my plan at least i did that so next time i know that next time i go i have to do this part of the plan and do this part of the plan like for my businesses i have all right so i have my clothing line which is gold g-o-a-l which is go out and live that i started when i was in high school actually i think it was a year i graduated 2016. i started gold and gold has been up and running ever since i graduated high school and i came out with a lingerie line afterwards and it's called amorous it's sexy you know like it's another it's basically another word for sexy so it's the sexy effect that's what it is amorous effect that's the name of my company it has like a whole bunch of lingerie and soon i'm supposed to be coming out with bathing suits and stuff then i have my event company and my event company i like decorate hotel rooms for people like for special occasions and stuff and then I also do like birthday parties and stuff like that like I do all of that and then I host like modeling events so I do like these modeling retreats like our retreat that we supposed to be going on soon is like sometime in Virginia uh someplace in Virginia and me and my business partner like we get in the whole house and we rent that joint out and we have models come through take pictures and stuff like that like just another way to make money then my last company is uh, well, I'm supposed to be coming out with it soon, but it's a magazine. And then I have my modeling agencies, which I kind of like put on hold for a second because it's really hard to find people that are really dedicated to modeling in the DMV. Like, let me tell you something. Modeling is a job in itself, bro. And especially like if you're not doing it like on an everyday basis, then okay, you probably not gonna take it so much seriously as I do. But for me, modeling is my job. Like, that's what I do. I model. Like, I travel for it. I... Are you drooling on my hand? <laughs> you know something? That is probably the one thing that I've heard a bunch of people say to me. They look at me and they're like, how can you give off sexy so easily in front of the camera? And I'm just like, and this most of most of them are my friends. So I'm just like, you don't know how to turn on and off your sexy? I'm like, even if like, say for instance, your man was right in front of you, you don't know how to turn that sexy on and off. They like, girl, don't know worry about don't nobody worry about being sexy no give, more. Give us, if a, I, give us an example. Like, okay. Turn on sexy right quick. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause I'm smiling, I'm smiling. Hold up. Wait. <laughs> When you want to turn on sexy, you got to channel the inner character, you feel me? So you got to...
You feel me? Like you gotta do something. You gotta do something off the strength. You feel me? Like you can't. You can't just. You gotta be the character. You gotta be the character. The main character, for real. The way I look on camera. And the way I look when I'm home, relax, is two different things. I'm gonna tell you one thing, ain't nobody gonna treat me like I'm anything either way. Like, you're not gonna tell me that I ain't that girl when I don't have the makeup on or I don't have the wig on or I don't have my hair done or I don't got my nails done. You're not gonna tell me anything. And you're not gonna treat me like I'm anything either because I'm not, and I know I'm not. So it's like, I feel like a lot of people don't understand. Well, let me put it like this. I know men go through it too with the whole insecurity thing and I can't speak on the male aspect of it. But I'm gonna tell you on the female aspect of it, we hold power. Let me tell you something, okay? We hold a lot of power in our hand and a lot of females just haven't tapped into that power yet. Just because a lot of people don't get the chance to. But when you give them the chance, they show themselves something different and they also show you something different. Like we look at people on the street and like, uh, yeah, she look a mess. Yeah, he look a mess. But you never know. If you put the effort and the time and the money into somebody, I promise you, things could change for them, things could change for you. And that's how it was for my modeling agency. Like I dealt with girls who was just like, I never knew I could look like that. And I'm just like, that's because you never tried. It's like, because back to the insecurity, thing, I don't want to call it insecurity, but it is insecurity. But it's back to the whole insecurity thing. Like, girls see other females on Instagram and YouTube, and they're like, mm, I don't look like her. Mm, I don't act like her. Mm, I don't have what she has, so I can't do that. So who? Because they started somewhere, too. You never know. They probably started in a worse place than you did. Like, you got your own place that you were able to start YouTube in. They probably was living with their mom in the garage with their kid. Like, people just got to understand that the initiative and the support plays a big part. The, definitely support. My mom was my biggest supporter. My mom was definitely. And listen, I'm the jack of all trades. And my mom, we are so tired of it. Because she's just like, if you don't sit down and focus on one thing, one thing at a time. And I'm just like, mm, it's not in me. I can't do it. I can't do it. Like, I mean, I would perfect one thing and then go from there. But at the end of the day, I just can't. You can't tell me not to do everything because it's just going to make me want to do everything even more just to prove you wrong. I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank... Uh, Ink God, aka Justin, for hopping on the show with us. Like, it was definitely enlightening having him here. I'll probably bring him back for a different episode for him talking about his music because one of my episodes, we definitely gonna get into music because your girl got some bangers coming out pretty soon. You feel me? A couple, yeah. So, I want to thank everybody for hopping on. I want to thank everybody for listening. I just want to say that it's an OB's world. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> We gon' we gon' make it. <laughs>